All right, it is time to review Scream 2, and I'm sorry, I have not been keeping up with my uh, reviewing. Uh, I wanted to do once a week a Scream movie, but that just didn't happen. I I've been really busy in this household uh, lately, uh, so I am sorry for that. I will review the entire quadrilogy, even if this, this passes the Halloween mark, uh, but I am hoping to kind of stick with that. So I'm, I'm watching Scream 3 tonight, and I'm hopefully going to do the review tomorrow. So you might get, like, Scream 2, 3, and 4 all, like on Halloween type of thing. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Either way, I will re review them all. Now, on to the actual review. I still really enjoy this movie because, once again, it is self-aware. It knows that it is a sequel and that it's a horror movie, and they just really go on a lot of stuff uh, with being aware and parried parodying themselves because, for one, there is a scene in this movie where they're talking in film class about sequels and they say the sequels are in always worse because the, the right off the bat they are they are being inferior inferior to the first one because they're just copying or, or you know adding on to something that is already established i like that they constantly do this um i also like in at the beginning of the movie you're in the theaters and they are watching stab which is essentially Scream 1. I love that they're watching a movie based on the events of Scream 1, and it's like, you would see that in the real world, and then you, you still have the characters that are still living in the in the essential real world, um, for this movie anyway. Uh, but there's also, like, it's, it's so cool how it's like, uh, I don't know, like, m movie-ception? I don't know. Uh, I also like that... Um, a lot of big actors, once again, are in this film, like uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar, who eventually becomes Buffy. She was Buffy, I think, at this time. I can't remember 100%, but I think it was around this time that she became Buffy. Uh, also, uh, Jada Pinkett, who eventually married Will Smith. Uh, she's in this. Omar Epps, who eventually goes on to House. There's a lot of still big uh, name actors that they bring into this. Um, what's his name? Uh, Timothy... Oliphant, I, I can't remember how to pronounce his name. He's from Deadwood. I love Deadwood, one of my favorite TV shows of all time, so I'm really happy that he's in this. Um, another good movie with him is The Perfect Getaway. I'd like to review that at some point in time. That was a really surprisingly good movie. Be better than I expected. Still not amazing, but really good. Uh, anyway, uh, so a lot of really good cast. I like that the characters in this are also developing more, as in, like, Nev Campbell kind of respects... Courtney Cox now she doesn't hate her Courtney Cox when the first movie she's all about the story and the second one she starts off kind of still wanting to report on things but as things progress she just wants to get the killer um and, and Nev Campbell like they have a conversation and Nev still like instead of like wanting to punch her out now she's just kind of like she's there and, she just, and she's bothersome but she's also explaining like we've gone through this before uh so I like that I like that uh uh uh, David Arquette is kind of like like a, a gimp by this one. And he's all messed up. And I like that he's he's limping with the right leg, but he has the injury was here and he's like, it has to do with the nerves. And it's just and his music, like the Dewey music, is just oh, I love that. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it just it 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 works uh for this series. And I also like the setting. Uh for the first movie it was about high school, and this one it's all about the university college life in the dorms with the the uh, different uh, like beta houses and all that kind of stuff. I, I really just enjoy that they constantly change it up and it always kind of feels fresh in, in the sense of where the location anyway. And I always felt that you really got a sense that you were in this location because he goes outside and he shows like, uh, you know, the yard uh, for like, you can see the university in the background and everybody's kind of, all the students are walking by. I always thought, I really felt that I, you're actually there and that you want to have that atmospheric feel that you are actually looking at like a real street or a real building type of thing. It's probably not because in the third movie they, they go to an actual Hollywood. It's any of that. We're, we're jumping ahead. But I just love the continuation of this series. And so I really still enjoyed this movie. Uh, I also like the killer, the, the reason that the killings are going on. I like the motivation behind that. And it worked really well for this sequel, the second movie. Uh, so I'm going to give this movie a 6 out of 10. Not as good as the first one, uh, but my girlfriend actually said that this one was like, uh, you had more fun with it. Uh, so she, I think she actually enjoyed this one a little bit more. But for me, 6 out of 10, still definitely worth checking out. Uh, so hopefully I'll be reviewing Scream 3 and 4 very soon. Thank you for watching. You've been bearded in. Beardage!